Okay, welcome to the Toba Project. Uh, this is a community development uh, module that focuses on uh, the Recovery Oriented Assistance of Care Initiative, which is uh, aimed at childhood obesity, insect related illnesses, anti gang, and uh, pretty much anti drug activities. And we advocate in such a way that we're trauma informed and that we realize that recovery is a goal that everybody can establish and that everybody has an opportunity for and in our advocation of uh, the rights of people with disabilities we come to understand that along the life cycle we're going to meet all types of people that we have to advocate for and they're going to have particular needs some of them are going to have problems with alcoholism, some have problems uh, dealing with mental illness, some have problems with developmental disabilities and have related comorbidities related to uh, their condition, and they are in need of advocacy. People in these categories may include any type of professional or any type of uh, middle class or any type of worker that you could imagine. Uh, many people are ex-military. Some people have been released, recently released from an institution. Others are in institutions and um, have been placed in a, a partial hospitalization program. Our services and our understandings have to change as we go into different institutions to provide these services. But our services comply with state standards we're a faith-based organization. We believe in a full, spiritually-based, biopsychosocial program that's client-driven, appreciative of what the client wants, and providing alternatives and encouragement and advocacy for those clients as they recover from various types of uh, problems. As you know, CHASM stands for No Act, Share, and Maintain or Manage. It's the framework for modern Islamic counseling and mental health. Um, nevertheless, chasm is something that can be used by anyone, any counselor, regardless of their spirituality or faith. So as we have it, we know that um, we have to bring our points home uh, that recovery is something that's accomplishable and achievable. And have them understand that the relationship is such that it's, it's there are plenty of examples that will um, be made available to them and opportunities of success so much so that before them sits a person who previously um, was in their shoes and now has risen up and can now provide services to them and others like them this is how they're keeping it green. This may inspire someone to want to become a counselor or recovery uh, peer advocate, which is an opening field that's filled with opportunities for people in behavioral health who are so interested. Our programs focus on um, these type of crisis intervention um, uh, credentials and preventive credentials which allow uh, entry-level uh, opportunities and a handsome uh, complimentary salary for those people interested in these type of careers. I'd like to say something about recovery and transformation that recovery is all about uh, transformation and it involves taking someone and having them realize that they can become a uh, what their highest potential and their highest expectation can afford. And you know, if, if you can dream it, you can be it. And we encourage them through um, motivational interviewing and other type of persuasion based type of counseling. We reframe, restructure, we uh, redirect and, and we roll with the punches as we begin to provide these services to those people who need the most, people in recovery, battling addiction, mental illness, and other types of disorders um, that 
pose a problem to people who are, are in these classes of, um, of folk. We have a mandate, a recovery mandate, that certainly supports uh, the recovery of all people. And we, we go through a lot of different uh, integrated uh, therapies and evidence-based solutions to accomplish that. Um, there's no one size fit all. We design these type of interventions uh, as per needed so that, you know, they're individualistic to the client, specific to the client, the community, culturally competent, cultural competence and systems thinking are both uh, paradigms that are intrinsic to this work. We take a systems view and we understand that in recovery, that means that a lot of factors are necessary for good uh, recovery. People do recover though. We have relaxation methods like the SLS method, sit down, lay down, sleep, which uh, deals with three levels of, of relaxation and, and helps individuals to accomplish a wide range of uh, decompression, deceleration type of uh, uh, relaxation techniques. We know that in recovery, people recover. Uh, we know that addiction itself is a spiritual issue and that oftentimes what fueled addiction was a lack of spirituality. And so we urge everyone to understand this and that success is based on these four simple steps, know, act, share, and manage. Thank you very much for your participation in this exercise.